Hello. Um. Yeah, today I wanted to kind of feel a little bit under the weather. I don't know. I wanted to drink tea. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd do a video. So I haven't really even prepared for anything yet. Um, I'm not gonna drink a whole lot, so I'm gonna get these out of the way. I'm just gonna use my uh, my smaller guy one here. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna take a look at my storage. Here, you know. Um. People who are interested in uh, storage solutions, I have a uh, Coleman's cooler. It's filled with all my uh, all my poor, and I bought one of these uh, thermal hygrometers. It's a thermometer plus hygrometer. Um, this is the main monitor. It works as a uh, it's a sensor as well. So we got the, the temperature right here. So uh 22 it's all backwards something wrong with my camera anyways yeah so 22 degrees in, in here 32 percent humidity that's very dry so i got bovita packs in my cooler that's this one here so the cooler is a little bit cooler huh it's 16 degrees celsius in there and uh it's at 66 percent humidity and that's what the bovita packs i got in there i got 75 percent because i was told that uh they're generally a little bit lower than what they actually are. So I got two 320 gram Bovita packs. That's these big guys right here. 320 grams. I got two of them in there and they're supposed to be more efficient the more you have. So I figured two big ones would be good for that size cooler. And those are at 75%. And wow, it smells like tea. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just gonna choose one. I haven't drank in a while. Something that I haven't done a video on yet. Let's do this one. Better shut that. But uh, I like these folders. They're great. I keep all my all my pours in the, the folders. It's got the, uh, the sample name. Chinese characters there says sample name, so Stargazer. Uh, producer, which would be Crimson Lotus. Uh, production year, 2017. And I don't even know what I'm showing you, it's all backwards, it's quite hard to read. And then the storage date, so I, I, I assume that's the date that it came into my possession, so October 2019. Um, how long it's been in my storage for. Oh wow, everything in my in my uh, humidor just smells so nicely. So yeah, that's the that's the cake. Stargazer. I love the artwork for the Crimson Lotus teas. Uh, a lot of them are, have something to do with space and stuff like that. We got the, the, the Yunnan, the universe. Like it's spelled like Yunnan, but Yunnan, universe. It's kind of neat. Um, yeah, I like the, uh, a lot of their stuff, yeah, they don't have very much, like, lower, lower end. I find I, I enjoy the lower end uh, cakes better. Not, not that they're, like, lower quality, but just the price per quality ratio. Um, I think their teas are really good. I've only, I've only tried two of their stuff, and I've really enjoyed them. But they are expensive. Um... So it kind of steers me away from buying. They don't have any lower uh, lower budget teas. That should be enough. We'll put uh, four grams in there. Yeah, we got a piece of the, the nafe in there. The wrap, the, the ticket.
I've drank this one quite a bit. I really enjoy it. I haven't done a review on it yet, so it's about time. Yeah, well, let's do four and a half grams. Four point six. Good enough. That's a lot for this size of a vessel, I think. Um, I've never really done more than that. That's like putting 10 grams in a 120 milliliter by one, which I think that's lots. Some people talk about putting 12 in 100. And for me, that's like that seems like a waste. I can barely get enough water in there to get a cup of tea. Yeah, one thing with uh, Crimson Lotus, I, I believe that they're a, they're a vendor you can trust. Um, if I don't feel like I can trust the vendor, and uh, it takes a lot for me to trust a vendor, but um, if I feel like I can't trust them, then I won't I won't buy anything. So it, it, it's a big step for me to uh, to buy from somebody else, right? And uh, just for the sake of making videos. I might just start buying from some vendors that I normally wouldn't uh, purchase from. Just for the value of uh, making content and maybe informing people. Maybe people feel the same as me. They won't uh, won't try some something from somebody because they don't necessarily, they don't know if it's legit or whatever. Myself, I'm, I'm kind of leery about just ordering stuff online. I always have been. Wow. It's definitely got a really sweet but like bitter smell to it. it smells good. Let's try it. Yeah, it's very punchy. It's very, uh, very strong for tasting. I don't know. I've always, uh, I've always really, really enjoyed this, this one. Now I don't know. Uh, I know it's a, it's a mix of uh, spring and autumn, but I've never, uh, never knew the, 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 the area, the region of where this came from, Stargazer. So maybe I should maybe I should look into that. I'll post it in the, the description. If I can find it on the website, I'll, I'll post it in the description. But um, yeah, I wasn't feeling good today. I wasn't like sick, but like I got a, a VR unit for the PlayStation, and it was kind of like an early Christmas present to the family kind of thing. And, uh, you know, I was playing it last night and a little bit this morning, but if I play it for longer than an hour, I just get, like, like really bad motion sickness. My eyes hurt. My stomach was feeling, like, not very good. Like, I've been on a boat, like, sloshing around and stuff. I, 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 can't, I can't play for that long. Yeah, this is a really uh, nice drinking tea, I don't know. It's fairly strong, fairly bitter. It's got a fairly, uh, fairly strong energy to it. I think I paid like 38 US. But that was for a 200, I can't remember, 200 or 250 gram cake, which for, I think that's pretty expensive. Um, I might buy more of this one. You get a discount if you buy a tong. So that'd be kind of uh might be nice to put a tong away. But um I never ever get around to buying a tong. Every time I start thinking about buying one, somebody goes and buys all of it. 
That's what happened with the 2017 impression. I was uh, planning on waiting and getting my next uh, my next uh, order after Christmas. I was thinking maybe about getting a tong or something like that. And yeah, I got all got sold out. And it was the same time around last year or this year. Um, 2012 impression. Really enjoyed that one. Somebody just bought like the last 52 cakes, as well as like 46 from the the the, the dot us site. And uh, that's a lot of tea. People have too much money. They ruin the fun for everybody else. <laughs> If I had that kind of money, I'd probably buy all of it too. <laughs> I don't have that kind of money. I'd like to know like how much better all the tea tastes now that I have my uh, the storage set up the way it, way it is, so it's not so dry. Because uh, you know we're sitting in here at 33% relative humidity and I just kept it all stuffed in the drawer here and uh, it wasn't long before all my tea started tasting like relatively the same like a very dry tea that's what everything tastes like lost all their special fragrances and aromas no juiciness just really astringent on the mouth and like a, like a tea flavor everything and I was starting to panic so yeah I did buy the, the, the Coleman cooler and I ordered some Bovita and uh yeah, it's working really good so far. Um, everything just tastes so juicy and fragrant and just nice now. And I found it really makes the astringency, like the, the drying in the mouth, like a, less. It's like everything's more juicy and like a hydrating. Um, So, I think because I got new storage, everything I think tastes a little bit better. Um, there was some tea that I had uh, reviewed. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna revisit all of the old ones after I finish the reviews on the ones I have. And uh, just because I think that they have changed a lot for the better just in the short amount of time that they've been in like proper storage, right? And uh, not like not so dry. And I think 75, 65, 75% 75 humidity, somewhere in there is just perfect for what I've, uh, what I've noticed is just perfect. Got a tea leaf there. Mm, looks good. I've heard of some people eating the tea like after done brewing it, they'll like put salad dressing on it or something. <laughs> I think that's kind of weird. I'll eat it if it ends up getting in my mouth by accident. Um, I don't know what to say about this tea. It's it's not like the most like flavorful thing ever, but it's, it's easy drinking. It's nice strong uh, bitterness. Um, it's got a bit of a fruitiness to it. Um, not not too crazy on the bitterness. It's it's fairly easy drinking. Um, although it is maybe a little bit aggressive. I don't know. If you grow it too long or whatever. Um, yeah, it's good. It's steeped for a long time. Um, Probably today is not the best day to give like a actual review on anything. I just don't I feel like I'm hungover. I got a I got a VR hangover, virtual reality hangover. I don't think anybody ever plays VR. Pete, I don't have no treats. I have no treats. Go lay down. Right. My dog was bothering me. 
He's gone. You know, I got a VR hangover. My stomach just kind of feels off. I don't think I can taste very well right now. What do you want? Come on. Oh, I have nothing. See? It's just tea. You want some tea? You want that? Oh. Yeah. I don't know, this is making me feel a little bit better. Yeah, I know there was uh, there was some talk about uh, what was it on Steepster or something. I was reading an, an old forum. It was like three years old, and it was about uh, May leaf, sixteen hundred year old tree tea leaves. I don't have any uh, I don't have any experience with uh, May leaf. I, I, I they were actually one of the first um, kind of vendors that I discovered when I first started drinking tea, right? Because it was like the first thing on YouTube that I found. And I really enjoyed all their videos. I still watch a lot of their videos. But, um... There was also all this talk in the corners of, like, like, Steepster and on the, on the internet about, like, them being, like, like fakes. And then they're selling these 1,600-year-old tea tree pours for way too cheap, and then they're not... Um... They're not legit or whatever, right? I don't know, does anybody have experience with, uh, like, Mayleaf or whatever? Um, if they can verify that like, their teas are good or whatever, because they, you know, they're marketed quite well on their YouTube channel. And the only thing that's kept me really away from ordering from them is just the, just the sheer price of their tea. It seems, like, very expensive. Um, and then there's, it's always in, like, uh, it's always in pounds or euros or whatever and uh like i'm not really sure like the exchange rate and all that stuff so to like look it up and then after like delivery and shipping all it just seems like it's just too much and i have filled out carts and then emptied them and then just like okay whatever just turn it off so all this time i've never never tried a melee key and uh Maybe I should maybe I should bite the bullet and uh, try some of their pour. Um, yeah, I'll do a review on them one of these one of these days. I'll get some of their stuff. But I've actually seen like people like like very like almost like like negative about it, like really like toxic. It's like oh yeah, they're fakes. They got they got nothing good. Their their teas are overpriced and they're they're over marketing everything. And, uh, I don't know. I don't like to, uh, badmouth vendors that I've never tried from. So maybe, I don't know that I've ever badmouthed them before, but I'd hate just to jump on the wagon of not liking their teas and, you know, not buying from them. And, uh, without trying them, right? So maybe, maybe I'll do that. There's also teas we like. And uh, Cha Wang Shop that I was thinking I'll try. Vendors I haven't tried before. Teas we like, but Cha Wang Shop. And I want to try. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, Yong Ching Hao. That's like group purchasing. That's what I've what I've been told. So. Um, After Christmas, I got some things to look at, and what I should try next, and uh, what I'll make make reviews of. Um, stuff to add to my collection, anyways. And uh, I know I'm very biased. I really, uh, I've, I've always really enjoyed Yunnan sourcing teas. I uh, I've had really good experience dealing with uh, their. Uh, like their CEO, CEO Scott Wilson. Um, anytime I have questions about any of their teas or anything like that, he's always quick to answer and stuff like that. And 
And uh, overall, just seems like a really, really good guy, right? So that's who I want to kind of. Um, and I haven't, don't have really any experience dealing with anybody else, right? So maybe I have similar experiences from other people. So I hate to be biased and uh, maybe miss out on what else is out there, right? But uh, you know, I'd say probably. 90, 97% of all the tea that I have is you and I'm sourcing tea, right? And I have a lot of tea. So maybe I should, uh, maybe I should spread the love a little bit. And, uh, then I'll be able to come on here and see what I think of, say what I think of other vendors. And, uh, I guess other than, what are you attacking me for? Other than uh, Crimson Lotus, there's only one other vendor I've uh, I really tried, and that was um, Treasure Green Tea Company. I tried them because they're uh, they're based in Vancouver. We went to Vancouver, and I, I I did buy a cake from them. I'll do a review on that one. I'll do that one next. I haven't really drank that one in a while because uh, there's no more of it. Um, I don't know. It's the Longsheng, Longsheng. I don't know how to pronounce it. Tea Factory. Okay, you're scratching me. Go away. You're hurting me. Come on. You come here. He's just a little hyper little dog. Doesn't know what he wants. But, um... No, I paid like 40 bucks for the cake. And it, was, it was really good. 2006. Uh, but they didn't have any more. They had like samples left of it. But she just gave me the... The rest of the samples. It was like probably like another... 150 grams of like broken up cake or whatever in another cake and that's what she was giving samples from right but she just figured well, what's the point of having what's the point of having uh uh samples of a tea that you don't you can't sell right so yeah she gave me that for like five bucks which is really cool really juicy number um i tried the uh a few cakes from, from them uh the one was 25 bucks and it's not really not that bad it was like a it seemed like pretty maybe low quality or whatever, like like the material, some like hairs and stuff in it, and maybe some like other stuff. So maybe possibly wild, there's like sticks and twigs in it. And, but fairly good tasting for 25 bucks. And uh, you no, know, the only thing that kind of kind of like you get emails and stuff like that, and they're like self signed, like. Uh, I hate to put her name on here, whatever. Olivia, a tea master, right? So, for me, that's a red flag, and it's not. I'm not saying that she isn't a tea master or whatever, but for me, it's just a red flag when someone's like, "Oh yeah, I'm a tea, tea master, buy my tea." And uh, and then the one the one cake I bought was a Meng Hai Man Song, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure Man Song isn't it like in Yibang, Yibang, uh, in the EU area, right? So that's like, like on the other side of Shishwambana, then Meng Hai, isn't it? I'm not sure. Anyway, so it's Meng Hai, Man Song. Really good tea though. Um, I think it was like 65 bucks for a 357 gram cake. And maybe if the, and somebody that spoke Chinese, they say on the cake, it doesn't say anywhere about Meng Hai. And it's just on the website, it says Meng Hai, Man Song. And it talks about Yi Bang and uh, Yibang and uh, Man Song on the wrapper, right? There's somebody who could read it and they're like, yeah, but it did, they said it didn't mention anything about Meng Hai. Which, uh, I don't know, that's like one of my really good, really good ones. I wanna buy more of it. But yeah, I wanna I want kinda of expand like what I'm doing with this channel and stuff like that. and. Uh, I would like to try more teas from different vendors and stuff like that and see what the hype is in certain areas and uh, maybe even be able to discredit some people. I don't know. <laughs> Not discredit, but like, I don't know. I just feel so leery about like ordering tea. Not just tea, but like anything online. Um, there was one vendor that people were telling me to steer clear of. Moylar, M-O-Y-L-O, 
are Moy Lore. Something like that. And uh, they had cakes of, uh, uh, I think it was called Sai Chung. Sai Chung. Uh, the, the, the tea factory or whatever. Anyways, it was 357 gram cakes. Uh, Yibu area teas that were uh, $9, right? And obviously there's something fishy going on there. But for $9, it could taste good. Whatever, I don't know. Maybe maybe try it, right? So I was thinking about getting, doing some reviews on some of those places that were I was told to just steal clear of, right? And uh, somebody had pictures of, of their uh, their cakes that were like obviously like fake wrappers and stuff like that, right? There was like like printed wrappers and put on something else, right? And they're saying it's like 1990 Shopur, um from some uh, Meng Hai factory, yeah, Dai. And uh, like it, it was obviously like a fake wrapper, right? And it seemed kind of shady, but it was like, okay, the price is okay. Like, so what if it isn't what it's supposed to be if the tea is good? So, um, that's what I would really worry about is like buying something that like the tea is not good because I don't know if I worry too much about like what it is or where it comes from. Like, does it taste good? And did I have to pay a fortune for it? Because, yeah, if I go, I'd be more pissed off if I go buy, uh, you know, a 2019 Lao Banjang. And it's like, okay, I spent like $1,000 for this tea. Am I more concerned over if it's Lao Banjang? Or am I more concerned if it tastes like dirty sauce? Um, I think for $1,000, I should hope that it was Lao Banjang. Um... But at the end of the day, I'm not going to spend a thousand dollars for a tea, and I think anybody who would is just crazy. And uh, I don't think anybody should spend a thousand dollars for a cake of tea. And if people would just say no, I'm not spending that much for that kind of tea, then the tea wouldn't be one thousand dollars. It's as simple as that. I think a lot of these uh, these these mountains and villages like like Bingdao uh, and uh, like La Banchang. La Mana. They're just so expensive because of just the hype that goes along with it. From people who have a lot of money and then it's like a exclusivity thing, like a luxury, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. Why? One Cause I tried the uh uh what was it, 2017 Hai Lang Hao La Banjang. It's like a ten gram sample, it was like fifty bucks. And it was really good, like it was, like I had a type of uh, energy that just like no other tea's ever given me. But for 50 freaking dollars for a 10 gram sample, I just, I couldn't. It's not like, okay, now I've tried it, it's like, okay, I'm gonna buy a cake. It's like, no, because I can't. Even if I could afford a thousand dollars, I wouldn't, it's not worth that to me. Um, now I'm pretty sure the Highland Howe are like, they're verified productions or whatever and I don't know there's just so much more to this whole thing with, with tea that I just maybe I just don't understand and that's like the whole idea with like yixing clay and like if it's real yixing clay or not and there's people like okay I'm gonna go spend a thousand dollars on a freaking teapot and uh, yeah I don't know I don't understand. Somebody explain to this to me. I can see that if the... I don't know. But I'm also the kind of guy, like... My wife and I were out looking at, like, at, like wedding rings and stuff. And look at the prices of these. She's like, wow, this is expensive. And she looks at me like, you want to go to the pawn shop? <laughs> so we go to the pawn shop and it's like, still like over a hundred bucks for like a nice gold wedding band. And then I was like... What's the difference? Is like if you get like a nice golden gold ring, right? What's the difference? You go you go to Walmart and you buy like a like a aluminum ring, right? I don't know. Um, all I know is I'm not. I try not to be like a super material person, and just certain things like that. Just I I cannot see the value in them. Um, 
I don't know. We'll have to see. Anyways, I've talked about a lot other than this tea. I would say this tea's really good. I would really recommend maybe buying a cake. It's not that much. Um, I really appreciate Crimson Lotus. Um, even before I bought their teas, I just there was uh, I think I brought it up once. There was a there was a cake on their website. It was sold out, but it was uh, the, the front wrapper was a picture of the Death Star, and the name of the tea was uh, That's No Moon. And for me, it's like, like I'm a Star Wars nerd. I really appreciate that kind of stuff, like the whole Stargazer thing, the little like the Planet Bang Dong. I tried that. It was great. It was like a just like a single serving, single area tea or whatever, right? But um, even like all their art, all the artwork and everything, it's just all like it's really cool. And then the new thing they got going on is the, the elemental pour. And then they got like the, the periodic, the periodic table of elements, right? So like Bang Dong would be like BD and like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Anyways, this video is getting too long. This tea's got like a... Uh, I'm gonna say it has a flavor that I've tasted from other Monku area teas and like Linsang area teas. And I don't know where this tea was 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 uh, the region of it, but that's what this reminds me of. This teas that I've tried that were supposed to be Linsang area teas. Like I say, it's supposed to be, but that's kind of the flavor I've kind of developed, the taste I've developed. Maybe, maybe it is. I'm gonna post it in the description what it actually is. Maybe I'm right. I'm just guessing. Anyways, for all those people who are crazy enough to sit through a 30 minute video of some weird guy drinking tea, and uh, yeah, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Um, the thing with tea is like, uh, a lot of people, this isn't normal, drinking tea this way. So I don't get to share it with a lot of people. I have like very few friends that come over and like, oh, let's have some tea, right? A lot of them, most of them are like, let's have coffee or whatever. And then the ones that do want tea, they're like, what, you don't got any like Lipton's or something? And, yeah, my one friend, she brought over her cousin. She never knew I was into tea or whatever. She's like, hey, you, you, I heard you're into tea, right? So like, can we can we have a cup? So like, yeah, so I got my, like, my, my gong food table and I'm like, she's like, what's this and all this stuff, right? And she's like, don't you, don't you have any uh, Lipton's? Like just some, like, orange pico Liptons. And I'm like, I, I, I'm sorry, I don't have orange pico Liptons. But I'm sorry, I can't. Uh... Maybe I should get some. Actually, when it comes to tea bags, my favorite tea is Red Rose, a black tea, Red Rose. Put it in a, like a like a mug. You steep it. I'll just keep, I'll just continue steeping it. And I like the bitterness of it. I like the, the, it's got a strong energy to it. And it's a really good tea bag. Not that tea bags are really good, but if I was gonna drink tea bags for the rest of my life, it'd be Red Rose. Maybe I should do some reviews on tea bags too. But nah. <laughs> but uh, mm, I like this one. I dig this out when I want something that has energy, um, strong, strong cha chi. It's got a nice flavor. It's mildly bitter. I like the mildly bitter teas. I also like too bitter too. Some people don't like any bitter. But oh, PD. Maybe next time I'll get some treats for you. But yeah, I enjoy it. I recommend it. Um, yeah, if you like the videos, and yeah, press the like button. If you don't like the videos, then definitely, definitely press the thumbs down button. And uh, yeah, definitely subscribe or not. Doesn't matter. But yeah, I appreciate people who watch the videos and people who comment and people who message me on Facebook. My, I, I keep my Facebook name the same as my uh, my YouTube name. So I don't really think I need a crazy name for my channel. It's just me. 
Brian Giuseppe. And uh, yeah, you can look me up on Facebook. And uh, you can send me recommendations for things that I'll eventually get around to trying. Um, what's been already recommended was the Yongqing Hao. I can't order any yet until around, I think, January, I was told. So I'm gonna, I'm, I think it's a Yongqing Hao uh, Jin Cha Tocha. It's like a mushroom, 300 gram mushroom, uh, raw, raw pour, I think, I'm not sure what year, 2007 or something. It sounds good. Anyways, it's like a group purchase, so I'm gonna make a big purchase with it. And uh, yeah, I've noted, uh, I've noted that, uh, what was it, TDB, I already, you know, I already, I already said the thing at the end of my video that I'm, I'm stopping the video and I'm already, I'm still talking, which is horrible. But anyways, yeah, TDB did a review on the Yongqing Hao Jin Cha. And I, he, he said there that that's like, like one of his daily drinkers, like it's a really good. So uh, maybe that'll be one I'll stock up on. And uh, yeah, other than that, I better go. This t video's too long already. Uh, thanks for watching everybody and uh, yeah. Buy this one, Stargazer 2017 Crimson Lotus. It's definitely, uh, definitely good. Thank you.